Welcome to Saints Row Get Out of Hell. I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to find and use the seven deadly sins. Keep in mind, all weapons have the infinite ammo, uh, instant reload, and have been upgraded to their max level. one of the marshalling grounds. Satan uses these things to arm and send off armies to crush his enemies. If you convert all the control stones, we should be able to use them to get around hell even faster. Predictably, there's a terrifying archdemon protecting the marshalling grounds, so it's gonna be a fight. Don't worry, though. Well, maybe you should worry. It's a scary fucking demon, but whatever. You'll figure it out. All right, let's get Uriel's Edge. And if I'm mispronouncing this, I'm sorry, I cannot seem to pronounce it my life today. You go to all of the little complication areas here, the marshlands. And once you activate this one, the big guy. Right? You gotta make sure you can see him. I think it's the other. And he just ran on him. You should have known who you were messing with. Once you defeated, you activate the last one. That will allow you to activate the teleporter and go to a sixth one that just appeared underneath Satan's palace. And you teleport there. There is nothing in here to fight, but in the center of this pit is the blade. You gotta swap out your weapon for it, but you already bought it, so you can re-equip it anytime. That's right, you just got the sword that all of the Archdukes can use against you. Alright, now that we got in the weapon Oriel's Blade, it has two features. One is if you hold down the R2 button, it shoots off the glass. If you hit the L2 button, it's like that. Oh, we don't take, we don't strike them up, they go straight down. I'm gonna prove I'm the better saint. Alright, getting the Gala's dog here, you have to kill Dak seven times. You get, this, you get to do this after the chase. Killing him is easy. Henchman just get out of the So lovely, Gat. For decades, the denizens of hell have cursed you for being the man responsible for sending them to their eternal torment. With every tale of your brutality, my interest was piqued. My name is Gallows Dodger, and it is an honor to be a gun wielded by an artist such as yourself. I must say, the murder of Shogo Akuji was particularly inspired. We're gonna get along just fine. Exquisite. Gallows Dodger, this lovely though. Gun fires shot. Oh, all the kind going where you gotta sometimes it's better to get out. However, you notice that gauge 
right below the spot. Yes. That gives you a chance. You're not even holding down the button. It's just firing on Artist. And as you can hear, the gun will pop. Started the game and I just finished the beginning mission welcome to hell it's a little tutorial mission that teaches you how to fly how to use soul orbs the basics once you finish that you can come straight to any armory vending machine and when you go into it you'll instantly well not instantly but you'll be able to buy the diamond stinger and diamond sting the greed weapon it will cost you a hundred thousand dollars to get it but trust me this gun is worth it it is the number one gun to get in my opinion save up and get it all right so you get the greed gun they like to give you an ability i call money pinata kill an enemy Money goes flying everywhere. You notice this money has little diamond studs on it. It makes them worth 50 coins each, as opposed to a regular coin, which is only worth maybe four bucks. These are definitely a good one to get right away because you get probably a couple hundred dollars with every one kill, which means you'll have enough money to afford to reload them and have enough to save up for the upgrades for it as well. So definitely a gun to get as soon as you can because it will help you buy everything else. I got word from Blackbeard that every island has a treasure chest hidden on it. What's in the chest? I don't know. I'm not a fucking pirate. What I do know is that if you want to get that thing open, you have to find three corresponding glyphs. Look on the bright side. Nothing's trying to kill you. Alright, up next is Lust Weapon. Boom Chucka. The way you get it is you have to collect all the glyphs, which gives you all the treasure chests. Glyphs here, you can see. And if you look in the top left corner, you'll actually be identified when one is nearby. I'm also showing you here on the map where they're all at real quick. You want to collect all of those and open all the chests. Once you open the fifth chest, you will get the weapon. Boom, check out. The first chest you get should be right here on Blackbeard's ship. Well, what do we have here? All right, the location of the second chest is the giant statue next to the old port building. Woo! You go down its throat. Please be gone. Please be good. The third chest, if you look at the dark cathedral over there, I want to make a left turn from there. It's right on top of this little building. This better be good. The fourth chest is found in Vlad's uh, prison. Right up the front, the big tower, and it's right there. Please be guns. Please be guns. All 
As for the location of the last chest, it is inside the giant skeleton dragon statue. Now I say the last chest, however you can take these in any order you want. What do we have here? All right, we got the boom checker weapon here. And what it does is it's actually a halfway decent shotgun. It has no second ability except fire, and it does damage. Any creature that manages to survive will be attracted to you. Now I'll do a little dance because they love you so much if they get close to you it wears off or if the time limit expires. Keep in mind this will also work on Archfiends. It's kind of hilarious to watch the Archfiend do a little dance and fall in love with you. So enjoy the Boom Chicka. Alright, now we're getting Sloth's weapon, Armchair Ginnon. Now the thing about this weapon is you can get it any time during the game as long as you know the location of it. As seen here. However, once you complete the mission Charge of the Halo, you're given a quest that will give it to you. Good job bringing more people into our little I Hate Satan club. Why don't you take a rest? Not interested. I got more shit to blow up. I'm just saying I got a lead on where you can find a very nice chair. I just told... It has guns. I'm in. God, this feels good. Life is good. Armchair again is a lovely weapon that you can just sit back, relax, and do some stuff. If you push the R2 button, you have let's play. Yeah. Like that. You walk around and it's just a chair rolling around. Dane can't be the only if person with a tangled L2. Put up the chair and fire a bunch of missiles. Nothing like a nice relaxing day with fireworks. You will fight Satan's number one agent. In this case, yep, everyone's favorite iconic mascot, Mr. Genki. See that lovely weapon on his back? That is the Ark of the Covenant, also known as the Rat. So the way you get it is you simply have to piss off enough people to get him to show up and then kill everyone, including him. So you got the weapon, you pick it up, it is that uh, easy. Well, it's easy as getting a high rating for notification and the season. Also, you have to take into account that 
the when you fight an archduke, all the enemies disappear in order to create the archduke. That doesn't occur with Mr. Genki. They're still all there. So you have to fight everyone and Mr. Genki. You really should look to finding those guys I told you about. You're missing out on a lot of opportunities. There it is. Simply pick it up and you're good to go. Alright, let's try this bad boy out, shall we? Now it's one of those weapons where the R2 and the L2 both do something. If you push L2, it sucks up enemies and pedestrians in order to give you ammo. It's fired. It shoots off a skull that can do somewhat home in on an enemy and then burst into many little souls which will then go out and uh, blow up on another enemy. So it's a fun little weapon to have. You want to blow things up or just absorb them into And if you want to, do, if you want to get the notification for rampages, all you have to do is suck enemies out of the cars, and the car is perfectly healthy. No damage to them whatsoever. Get in, drive away. That. Doesn't work, however, on force field people. Those guys are out to shoot. A good way to take out flyers and a bunch of them. Alright, now it's time to get Gluttony's weapon, the Last Supper. You will find it here at Tacos Melos. I think I'm pronouncing that right, I have no, I have no idea because I got a deal. So I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. All you gotta do is you gotta find all three of these places. As seen here on the map. And when you visit all the places, you will receive the Last Supper. Welcome to Tacos Malos. Can I take your order? Dane? Is that you? Yes. Now keep your voice down before someone hears you. What the fuck are you doing in there? You think anyone buys fast food in hell? It's a front. I've been stashing resources at the branches all over hell. Swing by all three and you'll have enough components to build a weapon. Can I still get a taco? You don't want the fucking taco? Now get out of here. Dane, you there? Took you long enough. Here's the next part. Welcome to Tacos Malos. Would you like our special today? Is that the gun? Jesus Christ, you are terrible at being discreet. Now what made you think I'd be good at it? Last Supper. This weapon has two abilities. The first one is the R2 button, which coats it into a faucet. This does practically no damage. However, every other enemy around, or even civilians, will attack and eventually try to eat the other person. The L2 button, on the other hand, once charged up, Fires a frosting ball. This does the fuck with me. And 
And there you go. All seven of the deadly sins. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you liked it, please give me a like and maybe a subscription. Hope you enjoyed it.